Hi, this is Katkam Lessons channel and in this part of the tutorial I will introduce the basic concepts of creating 3D models in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system where you can create your own 3D models and you can use it both for hobby and commercial purposes. You can create paid projects in this system without any limitations. The link to previous parts of this tutorial can be found in the description of this video. And now let's create another project in the part design module and I will show you another basic operation used in creating 3D models. First let's create a sketch on the XY plane and let's draw a rectangle but this time select the center at rectangle command and this command works by first selecting the center point of the rectangle in this case select the origin of the coordinate system as the center point of the rectangle and when you hover the cursor over this point it will be highlighted and when you click the left mouse button the center of the rectangle will be placed at this point and automatically connected with it and now let's determine the location of the second point click roughly here to create the rectangle now let's right click to cancel the rectangle drawing command and the rectangle created with the center at rectangle command is automatically related in such a way that it is symmetrically placed relative to the origin of the coordinate system now when i change the dimensions of this rectangle the dimensions adjust to maintain symmetry relative to coordinate system and now let's add dimensions here 100 millimeters and here 70 millimeters okay and close the sketch and based on this sketch we will add an extrusion of 30 millimeters and click ok and this operation known from previous parts of the tutorial is an extrusion that adds material based on a 2D sketch. In 3D CAD systems we also have another basic operation that works on 2D sketches but instead of adding material it subtracts material. Now let's create another sketch, select this face, choose to create a sketch, again select the center at rectangle command and as you can see we used this command last time and it is now the default command for drawing rectangles select this command and draw another rectangle whose center will coincide with the origin of the coordinate system and let's add dimensions to this rectangle here 70 millimeters okay and here 40 millimeters. Close the sketch and now based on this sketch we can add another extrusion but we did this in previous parts of the tutorial. Instead based on this sketch we can remove material from this solid and add a pocket. And this is done with the pocket operation. Select this operation and you can see in the preview how it looks just like with extrusion we added material but in this case we are subtracting material here we have the length parameter which determines the depth of this pocket and you can change these values by entering specific values from the keyboard or by scrolling the mouse wheel to change the value and here add a pocket with a depth of 10 millimeters click OK and we have created something like this. The pocket operation is the second basic operation used in creating 3D solids. Just like with extrusion sketches can be created on other faces of the solid. Here let's create a chamfer, select this edge and select chamfer operation and set the dimension of this chamfer to 10 millimeters, click OK. And as shown in the previous part of 
The tutorial sketches for extrusion can be created on faces parallel to the basic planes of the coordinate system, as well as on inclined faces. The same applies to the pocket operation, we can also use such faces. First, create a sketch on this face, select this face and select create sketch. Here I will create reference geometry based on these two edges. Now let's select the rectangle command and this time select the rounded rectangle. This command creates a rectangle with rounded corners. It works by specifying two opposite corners of the rectangle and the rectangle is automatically created with rounded corners. Right click to cancel this command and now let's add dimensions. First select the horizontal dimension, select this point and this point and here enter 50 millimeters. OK. Next select the vertical dimension, select this point and this point and here enter 10 millimeters. And as you can see, we have specified two dimensions of the rectangle, but the rectangle is not fully dimensioned yet. And let's add a distance dimension of this rectangle relative to the reference geometry. Select the constraint vertical distance, select this point and this point, and here enter 2 millimeters. OK. And now cancel this command, and now select this point, this point, and the y axis, and select symmetry constraint. And as you can see, even though we have specified two dimensions of the rectangle and the position of the rectangle, it is not enough in this case because the rectangle has rounded corners. We need to specify the radius of the corner and to dimension the radius, select the constrain radius command, select radius and enter here 4 millimeters and now the rectangle is fully constrained. We have a quality constraint automatically applied to other corners and it is enough to dimension only one radius. Ok, let's close the sketch and based on this sketch we will add a pocket to this solid. Select the pocket operation and add a pocket with a depth of 5 millimeters. Click OK and we have created another pocket in this solid. Now let's create another sketch. This time create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. And this face is the sketch plane now. And let's create reference geometry. Select create external geometry command and select these two edges. OK, right click to cancel this command and now I would like to create two circles that will be symmetrically placed relative to the Y axis and center it on this face. First let's create auxiliary geometry by drawing a line in this way. OK, right click to cancel the line drawing command, select this line and switch it to construction geometry so that it is only auxiliary geometry in this sketch. Next place this line in the center of this face by adding a symmetry constraint between these two points. Select these two points, select this point and select symmetry constraint. Now constrain this point with this point, select these two points and select constrain vertically, OK, and this line is now fully constrained and centered on this face. Now let's create two circles and the assumption was that these circles would be centered on this face and we have auxiliary geometries so we can automatically constrain the center of the circles to this line. Hover over this line and click the left mouse button 
and the center of the circle is automatically constrained to the auxiliary line thanks to automatic constraints. Now let's disable automatic constraints and draw another circle. Circle drawing command is still active and hover over this line, click the left mouse button and right click to cancel the circle drawing command and it seems the same as before but notice that we have constraint symbol here and not here. If I grab the center of this circle I can move it freely. In such cases automatic constraints are helpful but sometimes they may not work and it is better to add constraints manually. And to add such a constraint manually select this point select the line and select constraint point onto object. And we have the same effect as before, but manually constrained the center of the circle to the line. I usually have automatic constraint enabled, so in these tutorials this option will be enabled by default, as well as the auto remove redundance, if something doesn't work as expected, check if these options are enabled. Now let's add dimension these circles. Select constraint diameter and select this circle and enter 10 millimeters. And here also enter 10 millimeters. We could use the quality constraint, but with only two circles, I added the dimensions directly and now select the horizontal dimension and set the distance between the centers of the circles to 30 millimeters. Now select the symmetry constraint, select this point, this point and the y-axis to place the circles symmetrically relative to the y-axis. The sketch is fully constrained, close the sketch and based on this geometry create another pocket. Select the pocket operation and add the pocket with a depth of 5 mm. Click OK and we have created something like this. And as you can see the operation of creating solids based on a 2D sketch and operation of removing material based on a 2D sketch are two simple and basic operations. Combining these operations we can create more complex shapes. And we will end this part of the tutorial here. That's all for today. The link to other parts of this tutorial is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and if you don't want to miss the next parts, please subscribe to this channel.